Now, have you ever taken an image so different to anything you've ever shot before that it not only completely changes your photography, but it also changes the way that you view the world around you? I think there comes many times in a photographer's journey where you take images a little bit different to what you've shot before and it can just completely transform the way that you view your life, view your creativity and view most importantly the natural world around you. Now this happened to me recently and I featured this photograph in the video where I went out to capture the last of the autumn colours. Now on that day, on the whole, I was very disappointed with my photography. If you watch the video, which if you haven't, it might be a good idea to check it out before you watch the rest of this video, because it might make a little bit more sense. But on that day and in the video, the photographs I captured, I wasn't that happy with them, especially the ones I'd kind of planned. So on that day, I went to this lovely wooded area beside a loch, and there was this lovely old picketed fence with these beautiful autumnal trees overhanging it. And we had some lovely sunrise colours in the distance and some beautiful low-lying mist over the fields. And I'd visualised this photograph a few months previously when I went out at the start of autumn to try and scout out locations that could work well as the autumn colours got into full force. But these photographs I'd sort of planned didn't quite turn out the way I wanted them to. But there was one image I took that day that I never spoke through in that video and this image is so different to anything I've ever photographed before that actually on the day when I shot it I didn't expect to like it and I never even thought I would share this photograph. But when I got home and I edited it, the textures and the really artistic feel that this photograph had, it really captivated me. It completely opened my eyes up to a totally new world of nature and a new world of photography. And that world and that sort of genre and style of photography sort of goes around the sort of feeling of abstract photography. And what image is this I hear you say? Well, it's this image here. As you can see, this image is of a very nice coloured autumnal tree. The leaves are still on it, but they're getting right towards the end of, you know, end of autumn and they're just about to fall off. But what I did this morning was I zoomed into this tree and coupled with the misty atmosphere that we had going on, it resulted in this lovely, subtle, textured image. Now there's so much going on in this image in many ways. You've got so many leaves, you've got the branches. The whole image is basically just completely filled with this tree. But I'm sure you'll agree that this image also looks very artistic. In fact, it looks almost like a painting. And this texture and this feeling, I've never ever captured a photograph ever before that had the same feeling, texture and interest as this photograph does here. This image, in all honesty, has completely changed the way I view photography now. Of course, I'm predominantly a landscape photographer and I love photographing vistas and seascapes and crashing waves and all the lovely things you've seen on this channel to date. But one thing I rarely do is sort of abstract photography. And I have dabbled in this quite a bit, I suppose, over the autumn months with images like this one here of the, the fallen tree and the three branches overhanging the river. And this shot here of some nice autumnal leaves hanging over a burn. But abstract photography is so new to me. And even with those two images I've just shown you, they're very kind of clear and crisp and sharp. But there has never been an image ever like this one here that has the textures, the subtle feel to it, and just the beauty that this image has. Now, of course, this photograph's not everybody's cup of tea, but I wanted to take the chance to sit down today and speak you through this photograph because, as I say, it's genuinely changed the way that I view photography and view the natural world now. And you will actually see in a few weeks, I'll be posting a video where I've been going out this week and photographing leaves and frost and snow um, in my local area and just enjoying this new abstract style photography. 
But I think it's important for us all to experiment with our photography. I think we can all get very comfortable photographing the same thing over and over again. And while for me photographing the sea and the coastline fills me with immense joy, one thing I'm realising as I'm, I'm progressing in my photography journey is that I have this need, as I think all creatives have, to break out of that now and again and to try something that little bit different. As I say, this photograph that I've just shown you was not a planned image. It wasn't one that I would normally shoot, but something made me zoom into that tree and take that shot. And since reflecting on this image, I've come to realise the amount of photographic opportunities that are out there that I'm missing every single day because I'm focused on photographing very similar things. So I wanted to basically speak through this in this video, but I also wanted to kind of inspire you all to try and see na the natural world and your photography journey in new and exciting ways. And most importantly, to try and inspire you to break out of your habits and photograph something that little bit different. One thing I think I've realised, especially since becoming a professional photographer, is that need to do something that little bit different and to kind of find different aspects of photography that many people don't explore. And there's been a lot of photographers recently who've spoken quite openly about not going to a lot of the iconic locations and honing in on things within nature that the majority of us walk past when we're out walking our dog or out for our, a Sunday stroll with our family. You know, those things in the landscape, those trees, those leaves, that breaking wave, that pattern in the sand, these are things which people walk past all the time and never think to photograph. But there's so much beauty beauty in these and I think for me breaking out of my comfort zone and just testing that shot actually has resulted in me completely changing my mindset when it comes to photography and actually causing me to completely change my direction as a photographer. Now I've not completely changed it, I'm still a landscape photographer and I'm forever going to be very captivated by vistas and the sea and seascapes and that will always continue for me because that's where my heart is. But it's changed my direction, my photography and made me want to do more abstract style images and photograph aspects of nature that I've never shot before to see what results I create. And I think that's exciting, that that's really exciting. And I think especially this past year, so many of us have been stuck at home or stuck in our local areas. And there's been many people that do photography that have felt so uninspired because they've not been able to go to the lovely locations that they normally would go to or go on the photography trips that they'd normally go on every year. But I want you all to know if this lockdowns and staying at home continues, that there is so much in your local area that you can photograph. Yes, you might not be able to go to the coast or up the mountains and go to all these landscapes that normally speak to you very meaningfully, but there is so many photographic opportunities on your doorstep just waiting to be discovered. And I would highly recommend you all, even as life hopefully goes back to normality in, in the near future, to still have this mindset in mind of trying to photograph things locally or out on your trips that you normally wouldn't. Because not only do you come away with different unique photographs, it also improves your photography. But the most important thing is it makes you reconnect with nature on a deeper and more meaningful level than you ever have before. And this photograph for me has made me do that. It's caused me to see parts of landscape and nature that I've never seen before and probably change some of my photographic styles and genres of photography moving forwards as I try something that little bit different and look for these textures and tones and patterns in the landscape so that I can come away with something just that little bit different and more artistic. Photography is a never ending journey of discovery and I encourage you all to get out there and enjoy it. As always, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. I look forward to sharing more of my abstract style images that I'm experimenting with at the moment with you in a very near future video. But until then, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all again next time.